with Veterans Day, two days away this year, there's a movie honoring our nation's military. Lonesome Soldier not only aims to get results for veterans suffering with post-traumatic stress disorder, it's also distributed by a local veteran-owned company called VetFlix, which is dedicated to getting results for vets. Our Julie Rotten's here with more in today's Serving Those Who Served. Bridget, we are so excited about this. Now, we've talked a lot about mental health when it comes to our veterans. A topic the film Lonesome Soldier deals with, it is now in theaters around the country, including the Orlando premiere 14 at the Fashion Square Mall and in Plant City. Joining us now, Alexander Rondazzo, writer and actor in the movie, and Marcus Bofi of Vetflix. Thank you so much for both being here this morning. Thank you for having us. Yeah. So, first of all, Alexander, tell us the process, how it started, how long it took to get to where you are right now. Absolutely. I like to say that it started with a text message of a screenshot of a Facebook post. I was 18 or 19 years old when I received a text from a family mm -hmm. friend of a Facebook post of the real-life mother down in Tennessee who said that she was looking to make a film about this incredible story of her mm -hmm. son and his experience. Um, I met with the family multiple times and then moved to Los Angeles at 19. And here we are seven years later. Uh, it's been a long up and down seven years telling this story, but uh, it, it's been incredible. Yeah, and tell us about the story. I know we do have some video as well, but what does what the story entail? Uh, Lonesome Soldier is a, an incredible, true American story about a young man who returns home uh, with PTSD, uh, mm -hmm. returns home from Iraq. And it's really about the community and how it not only affects him and his journey, but also his, his mother, his wife, his child, his friends, and really the community as a whole, and how we uh, as communities can support our veterans who go through this. Wow. And tell us about Vetflix and how you guys connected. Well, we, we connected in Los Angeles right about the, before you started to shoot the film. And uh, I'm, a, I'm a veteran, uh, a Cold War veteran, and I served from 1987 to 1992 and kind of thought my military service was kind of over when it was over. Mm -hmm. uh, 10 years ago, I realized when I was asked to step into uh, a role with a film project that maybe there was something more to that career yeah. that I had maybe just put on hold for a while. So I've worked on the release of almost 500 movies in my life and to be able to bring something meaningful and that is thought provoking into movie theaters is really important because I think in that particular setting, everybody goes in with this kind of neutral sense of curiosity. Mm -hmm. And we all come out different because of the experience. So yeah. it's just kind of nice to have the light of this wonderful film in movie theaters across the country. And why is it important for people to head out this weekend and see this, even if you don't necessarily have a personal connection to the military? This is something that we all, this is something we all need to be aware of. We all need to be working to solve all of this. Well, I think a lot of it is we're all servants in one way or another. And the thing, that, the, the thing about Lonesome Soldier is that the film does not just deal with the post-traumatic stress, but also the family issues. Mm -hmm. Because those family issues are so important to our nation to realize that we're all servants in a way. And when, uh, when one of us struggles, we all struggle. Mm -hmm. So the thing that's different about Lonesome Soldier uh, for me is that it is a family movie. Although it's a family movie that you're not going to want to take all the family to. <laughs> right. Uh, it is a powerful story about a family and how they come back from the brink of that desperate kind of despair and mental illness. Mm -hmm. What does it feel like for you to be sitting here going from, you know, an 18 or 19 year old kid getting that text to here you're talking about the premiere and people are finally seeing what you've been working so hard on? It is, it is incredibly surreal. The, the response and the reception from the military and veteran community has been nothing but the greatest honor and the most humbling experience of my life. And yeah. it, it really is surreal is the only way to describe it. Yeah. And how can people see this? And I know veterans can get tickets as well. So tell yes. us all that so, important information. So uh, we're currently in Orlando. We're playing at the premiere, Orla the Orlando Premier 14. Mm -hmm. uh, we're uh, Alexander and Allison McAtee, the two stars of the film, will yes. be at the theater tonight for the 640 show. Wonderful. To introduce the film, uh, sign and give away posters and be around for a Q&A afterwards. The movie's going to continue there through the Veterans Day holiday. We have a very ambitious campaign set for the beginning of the year for home video and stuff like that. So mm -hmm. right now, the premier, the premier, did I say Plant City? Orlando is the place yes. to go. Yes, and we also have, we have Plant City on there tonight yes. as mm -hmm. well. So yep. yeah, well, wonderful. Thank you so much for Thank being you. here Thank and you. congratulations. This is such a, such a great thing. Thank we you appreciate very much it. for having us. Thanks, All Julie. Right. Thank you.